All right, you two, the Unforgettable Fire, track three. This is Wire. On Wire, Bono tried to convey his ambivalence to drugs. It's a fast-paced song built on a light funk drum groove. Song shows the influence of talking heads with whom Eno had worked. Much of the song was improvised by Bono at the microphone. Okay, all right, let's get to it. All right, Wire, here it is, bam. song though was pretty cool i like this <laughs> yeah this is i mean anything that's driving like this i have a tendency to like because i like stuff that's just like aggressive like that and they came with it right out the gate right out the gate 
yeah drums just the consistent the consistency of the rhythm on all these tracks so far but then this and i really like how you know there's not a ton of changes and i like that because it's they're just utilize the changes are just like a different backdrop of color and you're really getting and feeling those changes it's making the changes more powerful when they're less right it's making them and where they're hitting more powerful like more have more impact and i think that's great because i like music i mean i like more complex music also but i i also really like and appreciate music that's like this where it's like not as difficult it's more subtle it, it's not as you know just like crazy changes and and everything's moving a zillion miles an hour there's a lot of things that are moving a zillion miles an hour in this song but that's more just like rhythmically than notes you know just like insane amount of notes everywhere this is not that this is rhythmically a lot like rhythmically very dense dense i, I guess a little bit dense dense in that it's the, like consistent and it's a lot but it's not it's not dense in a way that it's like all these different types of rhythms all layered on top of each other does that make sense like it's not like insanely polyrhythmically dense you know i mean there's some stuff going on but it's not it, that's not what i mean by it it's not dense rhythmically in that way it's dense rhythmically in the fact that it's just like consistent six, 16 notes just drilling you the whole song yeah and all the guitar stuff that's just kind of flying by it's all really nice effect and just adds to it adds to some of it adds to the kind of like aggression of of this song some of it adds to the just washiness overall of the guitar sound. Yeah, I mean, this is really cool. I like this one a lot. And Bono is just killer. Again, I hear, I mean, I'm really into Deftones, so I can hear Chino Moreno being into this. I don't know that he ever said he likes Bono or U2. <laughs> I don't think that that is one of his influences that I, at least I've heard him say. But I can hear it in there. Uh, Chino has more of a kind of relaxed, like I said, lazy kind of delivery to it. This is much more driving. I mean, Chino can be aggressive and driving also, but you know, he's more stereotypically known to be a little bit like lazier and kind of drawn out and behind, you know, type of type of feel to his vocal. But the other thing is just like, this is very uh, like animalistic, like guttural, like instinctual, like a, a primitive, primitive. Is that the word that I was thinking of uh, in the middle of the, in the middle of the song? Yeah, just a lot of this vocal stuff is, is like that, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, it sounds great. I really like this one too. I mean, I'm, I, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I like you too. <laughs> for the for the most part especially like any of the classic stuff because any of the songs that i know and that i've played before i like you know which i mean what are their hits what are songs of theirs that i've played with or without you still haven't found what i'm looking for uh have i done beautiful day before i don't think i have but i know that one one is a fantastic song sunday bloody sunday i know uh pride and name of love obviously where the streets have no name stuck in a moment you can't get out of i don't think i know that sweetest thing i don't know if i know that one either vertigo i know that one i've played that mysterious ways i've played still haven't found what i'm looking for with or without you desire I've played. Yeah, Desire is a good one. There may be other ones. I don't know. I mean, all the ones that I've played before, I like. So I'm like, it makes sense that I would like you too. Makes sense. And they sound, they sound great. They do. They sound great. Cool. All right. Up next, the title track, The Unforgettable Fire. I'll catch you then. Later.